from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. And good evening, I'm Steve Atkinson with a 10 News update. Crews spent Friday night cleaning up the water from the streets of La Jolla after a water main break. This happened near Girard Avenue and Pearl Street just after 5 o'clock. Emergency crews checked businesses in the area to make sure they weren't flooded. Police and fire crews shut down intersections and they had to reroute drivers as well. All three victims involved in that fiery car crash in the 805 North Thursday have now been identified. Eileen Pizarro and her 12 year old daughter Ariana were killed when 18 year old Trevor Heitman crashed into them. All three died at the scene. Heitman was speeding southbound in a northbound HOV lane around 430 near La Jolla Village Drive before this happened. California Highway Patrol says that Heitman's car was also linked to an incident at Ashley Falls Elementary School in Carmel Valley Thursday. Several students said the driver of a sports car drove through a fence. The school district said the driver got out of the car and broke a window, but no classes were in session at the time. Various websites say that Hypen was a popular YouTube personality. And court documents reveal that Congressman Duncan Hunter's treasurer, Bruce Young, repeatedly warned Hunter and his wife against misreporting their finances. The Hunters are accused of spending about a quarter of a million dollars in campaign funds all for personal expenses, including lavish vacations. In court Thursday, they both pleaded not guilty, and they're due back in court September 4th. In the meantime, our weather is just A-OK. -okay. Looking better and better as we head into the weekend. Less humid inland with 80s, close to 70 actually. 78 degrees in average at the coast for a fantastic weekend. All right, that's what we like to see with Saturday and Sunday coming our way. Yes. Thanks, Angelica. For the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app. It's in your app store. For 10 News, I'm Steve Atkinson.